seated. And every time we sit, we just remember to draw the flesh out of our thighs so the upper thigh bone is slightly in an interior rotation. Bring your thumb to the in, to the middle finger and ring finger in either hand. The TV mudra, the mudra of the earth. And then breathe your eyes close. And just take a moment here to draw your senses in to perceiving yourself. This body. What we'd like to do in yoga is to find this union or the marriage, as it were, of experienced self with life itself. And notice how the breath flows in of its own accord, filling your structure with life force energy. On the next exhale, I'll explain beforehand, we're going to just hum. So you make a hum, the mouth is closed, and we'll do this for seven breaths. So seven times on the exhale, humming, and just observe how this humming vibrates in your body. See if you can keep the hum deep. And we'll start together, take a deep inhale. In your own time. seventh time, just take a moment to observe. This humming allows our exhale to become deeper, longer. We really sense then at a physical level our connection to earth. And release the mudra in your hands and just bring the right foot up to standing. So the right foot is standing up, foot on the ground. And take your left hand and we're going to massage the Achilles tendon. So which starts here at the bottom of the calf muscle and goes all the way down to the heel. So massage here on either side of your Achilles tendon from the top down to the bottom or from the calf muscle down to your ankle 
And you might notice little tender spots. You can take a little more time in that. So you basically are sort of squeezing with thumb on one side and fingers on the other. So the Achilles tendon is to eight to sorry to fifty percent liquid. So we're going to allow that liquid to move. So this helps also in our connection to earth. It also helps in us. allow the bodily fluids to move more easily. Yes, it go all the way down. And as the myth goes, it's also a very, it's a tendon that's very vulnerable as well too. So just see what it feels like to walk around this tendon here. There's nothing you can do wrong, so you can't tear or anything. You know, just like squeeze it to massage all the way down. And then stretch out the left leg and then bring your right foot on your left leg. So you can remain seated a little bit elevated and we're going to take the right foot just as comfortable as possible and then start massaging the heel so the continuation as it were of the tendon where the tendon inserts and then the base of the the rest of the, the sole of your foot the arch of your foot you can use both hands now to see what parts of your foot you can access and just give it a nice squeeze and massage. And then with thumb and middle finger, go in between the toes and just draw out those little, little pieces of flesh here in between the toes. You can squeeze them. Also, again, they might be quite sensitive and then pull them out. Up and down your toes. And then make a fist with your right hand. And then using the knuckles here, just rub across the foot. So you need to rub across the foot. All the way from toes to heel and back again up and down, rubbing across the foot. And then place your right foot on the floor again. Just take a moment here to feel it. It should feel very present, each toe all the way down to the heel. And possibly a little warm. And then we'll do the same on the left-hand side. So we'll start with the Achilles tendon at the calf muscle and then just squeeze along. And whenever it feels, wherever it feels a little tender, just take a little more time there to squeeze and allow the bodily liquids here to then move more freely. Just like when we dam the water and then we release it, then it can flow more freely. So just moving up and down, whatever feels good to you. And you might notice it's particularly sensitive around the your ankle, so just move in there. Okay, and then outstretch your right leg and just bring your left foot up as best you can, whatever feels comfortable. And then continue the massage along the heel. Okay, so you can squeeze and push and then along the arch of your foot 
And again here, whatever feels slightly sensitive, just to maybe add a little extra time there. And then all the way up to your toes and then take the little skin in between your toes and just draw it out. So you're squeezing it and drawing it out. And also access the lymphatic fluids here, which tend to congest here in between the toes. Okay, so again, whatever feels good to you, self-massage in the morning is always great. Okay, then make a fist with your right hand and with your knuckles rub along the foot, so up and down, across the sole of the foot. And release, place your left foot on the ground and take a moment to sense into the foot. The feet should be warm and active now. We'll need them later on. And then come onto your backs. <clears throat> you can outstretch the legs, outstretch the arms, and just release back onto the ground. Take a moment here to sense your body on the ground. You'll probably notice very present feet and just see what other parts of the body are touching the ground. And then bend your knees, both feet on the ground. And we're going to just open the shoulders here a little bit to so go the opposite direction of the feet. So bring your arms out shoulder height. Bend your elbows and your arms up to the sky. So it's as if you had, you were making a sort of cross structure with your upper body. The arms are out. You might want to look just to see if your elbows are really in line with the shoulders and your hands are free facing up to the ceiling. Hands are really released and loose. And then bring both hands towards your feet. So basically the elbows stay bent, the arms move down towards the feet, direction of the feet. And then the arms or the lower arms come back up and then go back towards the head. So you're just moving here elbows are on the ground and you're rotating around the elbows hands come forward hands go back hands come forward hands go back so you probably notice the shoulder blades are involved here at the back of the body and the next time the hands come forward your head's going to lift up and look towards the knees and then back again. Hands come forward, head lifts with the hands and comes back again. And notice how it's quite easy to lift the head when the hands come forward. Do this two more times. Outstretch the arms, release them. And then place your hands, keep the knees are up, feet are on the ground. Place your hands underneath your lower back with the palm facing down. So the hands are just going into this, the curve of the lower back, palms are facing down. Okay, let's see if this is possible for you. And then as you breathe, now as you inhale, see if each inhale can 
press down into the hands. So we're filling the lower back. We're spreading what they call the kidney wings when we breathe in here. So usually we breathe only into the front, but see if you can breathe into the lower back. Eyes are closed and all our senses towards the inside. And as you're breathing now, open your mouth on the inhale and open your mouth on the exhale. Keep it open and just observe the gentle sound that that makes in the back of your throat. And then close your mouth and see if you can keep this sound. This will help us to direct the breath, the ujjayi pranayam, which we've spoken about before. be easier then for you to observe how the breath is flowing in, filling the hands and flowing out again. Active lower back and then release. Bring your right knee in towards you, hold your shin and stretch the left leg out. Three deep breaths here. On every exhale, the right knee comes in closer to the body. After the third breath, place the right foot back onto the mat. Draw your left knee in towards you, hold knee or shin, and then reach the right leg onto the floor long all the way. Ujjayi pranayam, so gentle sound in the back of the throat. It's as if your breath were entering and exiting through the throat rather than through the nose. And this will help as well if you feel any tension just to direct your breath into whatever feels that it needs more spacious. And then release. Release the legs, release the arms. Take a moment to observe the body now. both knees in towards you. Hug your knees with both hands and gently rock from side to side across the pelvis, massaging the sacrum. And then roll over to one side and come back here. and we'll come up onto all fours. So hands underneath your shoulders, turn your toes onto the ground, so the toes on the ground, press through your heels. You notice the length of your spine reaching through the crown of the head. And then from here, we'll move back into a downward facing dog with bent knees. Take your time, reaching the arms forward. Your shoulders are now open. The shoulder blades are going to glide down your back, even though you're stretching away from the hands. There's a feeling that the shoulder blades are gliding down your back. Beautiful. And then reach, try and stretch your legs if you can or keep the knees bent. So whatever feels good to you at the moment. And then on the exhale, back onto your, sorry, on the inhale into child's pose, exhale 
um, into onto all fours exhale back into child's pose so just a little vinyasa here to warm up so to speak onto all fours back downward facing dog exhale inhale on all fours exhale child's pose and we'll keep the toes turned up this time the whole way see if you can keep your breath in the ujjayi If we use the ujjayi breath, if we use this gentle friction, you'll notice that your breath will become slower and slower. And do this two more times in your own breath rhythm. Meet in downward facing dog, reaching through the hand, the shoulder blades gliding back down your back. Notice that your Achilles tendon is probably a little bit longer than usual, your heels reaching towards the earth. And then walk your hands forward in between your hands, uh, your feet forward in between your hands. Bow down deeply. And then bend your knees, press down through your feet and roll up into standing. Arms facing forward. So sense your feet here on the ground. Very, very present crown of the head, back of the neck. And we'll go through our sun salutations. Both arms up towards the sky, eyes come up. On the exhale, bow down forward, head to knee. Crown of the head reaches forward on the inhale. Right leg comes back on the exhale, knee to the ground. Both arms up towards the sky. Come forward with your, with your pelvis, that's it. Reach your arms up. And then hands to the earth. Front leg onto front leg back onto all fours. And then from here we're going to move the upper body forward and then release the thighs down, the pelvis, and then the rest of the body. So it's this very fluid moving down. Your hands are back, way back underneath your shoulders, elbows in. And then on the next inhale. Pressing the tops of your feet into the ground. Let your heart move forward. Come up into Cobra. Exhaling, moving down. Next inhale, we come back onto all fours. Exhaling back into Downward Facing Dog. Eyes stay forward. Now we'll go back on the same side. So left leg lifts up towards the sky. Eyes are reaching forward. On the exhale, left leg forward, right knee down, both arms up towards the sky, pelvis comes forward, super, exhaling, fingertips to the ground, back leg to front, bow down deep. And then pressing through your feet, we're going to curl up. Okay, remember we had this with the belly button moves in and up and the body curls all the way up, hands up towards the sky. On the next exhale, hands in Anjali Mudra in front of the heart. Other side, arms come up, eyes move up with your arm. Exhaling down. Crown of the head reaches forward. Left leg moves back, left knee to the ground. Both arms up towards the sky. This is your inhale, moving your hips forward a little bit. So we're stretching the front of the left thigh. 
On the exhale, hands to the ground, front foot comes back, we're on all fours. And then from here, we're going to move the body down, starting with the thighs, pelvis, all the way. Tops of the feet in the ground, hands are way behind the shoulders, elbows draw in as the heart lifts up towards the sky. And then from here, in your vinyasa onto all fours, and then back into downward facing dog. So every movement of prayer, your eyes stay forward. The right leg lifts to touch the sky. Foot comes forward in between your hands, left knee down. Both arms up towards the sky. Your eyes move up, pelvis comes forward. And then fingertips to the ground, back leg to the front, bow down deeply. And then pressing through the feet, roll all the way up. Arms come up, eyes come up. And then exhale your hands in front of your heart. Beautiful. I'm going to do one more round with the knee up. Arms come up, eyes move up. Exhale, folding forward, head to crown of the head forward, right foot goes back. So think of your strong feet here, both arms come up, so your balance is there. Beautiful, super. Fingertips to the ground. Back leg comes back, and now we'll go into plank position. Reaching through the crown of your head and through the heels at the back. And then knees to the ground. Sit back onto your heels. Toes stay up. Eyes stay forward. And then from here, we're going to again lay the body down from the knees, thighs, pelvis all the way. Arms are going to move back, so both arms reach back, and the feet are going to reach up. So we come into this bow, in locust pose they call it. So reach through the balls of your feet, arms come back. Couple of breaths here. And then release your hands down, come up onto all fours. Take a moment here now to remember the breathing in your lower back. See if you can direct your breath into the lower back. By directing your attention, the breath will then follow. And then turn your toes under and we move back on the exhale into downward facing dog. Super. I stay forward as the left leg lifts up towards the sky. Left foot forward. Right knee stays up. And then finding your balance. Come up with both arms. Super. Try and get a little bit deeper into the front leg. Beautiful. And then fingertips to the ground, back foot to the front. Bow down deeply. And then from here, curling up through the navel, arms up towards the sky, and exhale your hands in front of your heart. Okay, ready for the other side. We'll keep flowing here, staying very grounded through the feet, exhaling your arms down, head comes down. Crown of the head reaches forward left leg moves back. Both arms come up in a high lunge. Super. Find your balance and notice your feet. They're so active after this massage, so stable. On the next exhale, both hands come down. We're going to move into plank. Stay here. Feel the strength of this wonderful center of your body. Then knees to the earth, keep the toes up. Sit back onto your heels. Remember the shoulder blades are gliding back. 
and then come up and lay your body down from the thighs all the way down to the ground. Super. Now tops of your feet on the ground. And this time we're going to move across the body diagonally. So allow the left arm to reach forward and up and the right leg to reach up. And then we'll switch sides. And we'll do this three times on either side. So remember to keep the lower back active. Just make sure that it's still present. As you switch sides three times. And then after the third time, hands come underneath your shoulders, onto all fours, Turn your, curl your toes under, and then move back into child's pose. You're sitting on your heels, your, curl, your toes are curled, reaching your arms forward, bow your head down. If you can bring that breath again into the lower back, On the next inhale, onto all fours, and on the exhale, back into downward facing dog. Eyes reach forward as the right leg lifts up towards the sky. Right foot forward, and we'll come up here solidly, both arms up towards the sky looking up and then on the exhale fingertips towards the sky right leg comes to the front bow down deeply and then pushing down through the feet roll up vertebra by vertebra arms come up and then exhale down hands to the center Inhaling, arms come up, eyes come up. Exhaling, bow down deeply, head to knee. Crown of the head comes forward. Left leg goes back. Same side, this side. Come back. Inhaling, both arms up towards the sky. Come deep into the front leg. Exhaling, hands come down, front leg goes back into plank. And then knees on the ground, keep the toes curled under, sit back into child's pose. So observe the gliding of your shoulder blades. And then from here, coming up onto all fours, and then release the whole body down vertebra by vertebra tops of the feet in the ground. And now we'll come up again into Cobra. The hands are back behind you, elbows in towards the body as your heart reaches forward. And on the exhale, come back down. Come up onto all fours. Curl the toes under. Move back into downward facing dog. Left leg rise as your eyes are moving forward. Right foot, sorry, left foot comes forward. And then place the right foot onto the ground. Hips are staying forward for warrior one position. And then bringing both arms up towards the sky. So back leg is fixed on the ground, beautiful. On the next exhale, bow, bend deeply into the front leg and then bring your arms back and reach the crown of your head forward. So we know this movement, see so if you can come in a little bit deeper. And then inhaling both arms up. Exhaling, arms reach back, crown of the head reaches forward. And one more time.
Next inhale, both arms will be up. And then on the exhale, fingertips to the ground, back leg comes to the front, bow down deeply. And then pressing through the feet, roll up all the way into standing, arms come up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. We'll flow to the other side, inhaling, arms come up, exhale, bow down deeply. Crown of the head reaches forward, right leg moves back, high lunge, both arms up towards the sky, exhaling, hands come down, front leg goes back into plank, through the crown of the head, through the heels. Knees come down, keep the toes up and move back into child's pose. Observe your shoulder blades. And then from here, coming forward and we'll let the body release down from the knees, thighs, pelvis, all the way. Three times now into Cobra, so every inhale, reaches you up, dial your arms, your hands to the outside on either hand and your elbows come in. Ujjayi Pranaya, when you are ready. onto all fours and move back into downward facing dog. Right leg rises, eyes stay forward. On the exhale, right foot forward. Left foot here for warrior one, so your pelvis <coughs> remains facing forward. Bend the front knee, bring both arms up towards the sky. We come in a little bit deeper here into the front leg. On the next exhale, your arms will come back and your upper body reaches forward. So notice the strength in both legs, particularly the back leg. And we'll flow here in your own breath rhythm, reaching up and on the exhale, reach back crown of the head forward. Let's do it one more time together. And then from here, fingertips to the ground, turn the back foot, back foot comes to the front, bow down deeply. And then pressing through the feet, rolling all the way up. Arms come up towards the sky and exhaling your hands in front of your heart. Okay, now we're going to remember the Achilles. Release your arms down. We're going to come into a balancing position. So we're going to lift up the right knee first. So we're standing on the left leg. Lift up the right knee first, and then clasp the shin as we did on the ground and draw the leg in towards you. Okay, see if you can bring it up higher. As if you were lying on the ground, it's the same idea. Oops. And then if you can, release the leg and stretch it forward. You can grasp underneath the thigh if you want. Okay. So your eyes find a point somewhere in the distance. Ananda Drishti, beautiful. And then come back and release. Okay, so you probably notice the other foot opposite foot, the standing leg, and then we'll do the same on the other side. So find a point with your eyes in the distance, 
Rely on the standing leg, trust the earth, and then bring your shin in towards you. Super. Okay, so see if you can breathe into the lower back, reach up through the crown of your head, and then we're going to stretch the front leg out. Okay, you can lift it by grasping the back of the thigh. Just as far as it's possible. And then coming back and releasing that. But then just shake out the legs. It's always a good thing to do. Beautiful. Okay, and we'll try that same thing now without our hands. We'll keep the hands to the hips. And then bend one knee. So whichever side is your favorite side. Bend the knee and bring it as if you're drawing it up towards you. Super. And then if you can, stretch out the leg. And then bend the knee again and bring it down. Fantastic. Okay, same thing, other side. So keep your focus, always remembering to rely on this connection to earth. stretch out the leg. Bend and release. Both feet come wide now <clears throat> and the toes are more facing in than out. Broaden your legs. Keep your hands here on the pelvis. Take a deep inhale. Lift your chin all the way up, your eyes. And then on the next exhale, bring the upper body parallel to the ground. And then release the upper body down, keeping the hands where they are on the top of the pelvic crest at your waist. And release the head down. Let the neck come down. See if your shoulder blades can still be on the back and moving towards the pelvis rather than moving up towards the head. So it helps to keep the shoulders away from the ears. One more deep breath here and then press through the feet and bring the upper body up. Okay, so you can widen your legs even a little bit more. Happen if you want. Yeah. We'll do this one more time. So inhaling, lifting up. The chest, chin comes back. And then on the exhale, hinge at the hips and come forward. And now place fingertips on the ground, so we're still bending forward. And then bend your left knee and move the pelvis over towards the left, just as far as it goes. So we're sort of moving over towards the left. Straighten both legs, you come back to center, bend the right knee, move the pelvis over to the right. And lengthening the inside of the thigh. So we'll move here from one side to the other, just as best as it's possible here to open up the inside of the leg. Swinging here from side to side. Keeping your feet really planted on the ground because we activated them at the beginning, they're much more present here to know that they can be super. And then come back to center. Bring your heels in towards you. Keep the feet, toes out, heels in towards you. Bend your knees. <clears throat> come up into a deep squat here. Hands to the inside of the thighs. 
Okay, see if you can come down a little bit more. And then we're going to move over to look over the left shoulder. And then back to center and then move, look over the right shoulder. We were checking out back to center over the left. Okay, what's here behind us? And notice how your hands can help you in the turn. Okay, one more time each side. And then coming back, press through your feet. They come up into standing and then the toes in towards you. Beautiful. So we'll keep the feet wide. Bring your right hand to your belly. Left arm comes up. And then on the exhale, pushing through the left foot, reach the hand over towards the right back up to center and then we'll do the other side so stay very present through the feet back to center of the side and the hands have their firm position so we're always in contact here with the lower belly it helps create a sense of safety and then reaching out okay, one more time each side center. From here your heels will come in and we're going to sit down in a squat it's as best you can. Your knees can be wide, fantastic. And then elbows to the inside of the knees, hand together. Just stay here for a moment. Notice the muscles on the pelvic floor sort of gently moving upwards. So they'll help to stabilize this position. And then exhale your pelvis down to the ground. Bring your legs out in front of you. And then gently release the flesh here your buttocks there's a gentle interior rotation of the thighs you could also slightly elevate your hips if that felt best by using a little cushion and then place both hands next to the pelvis and lift up through the chest See if you can find the Ujjayi Pranayam here. If your hands don't reach the ground, feel free to take a block. Place your hands on the block. This is called Dandasana, the staff pose. Notice every inhale broadens the sit bones out towards the side and every exhale draws the sit bones together. And then on the next inhale, both arms are reach up towards the sky. On the exhale, bring your body forward as far as you can, reaching through the crown of the head without touching your toes and then inhaling, coming back up. Exhale, reaching forward. Inhale, coming back up. And then on the next exhale, place your hands on the ground beside you or to the outside of your feet, whatever comfortable. And then bow the head down into Pajimottanasana, the east, west, position. Bow your head down. Notice how the back of the neck will get more space here. And 
head lie heavily. Shoulder blades continue to melt down the back. Imagine them moving down even though you might feel they're coming. Two more deep breaths here. Rolling the body up, head back into D Dandasana with both hands next. You observe a gentle change inside, and then bend both your feet, place the feet on the ground, or bend, bend your legs, and feet on the ground. The arms will move forward. And then on the exhale, we're going to let our body move down towards the ground very gently. So notice the massage along the sacrum as you move down. And see if you can count the thoracic vertebra all the way up until the head, until the head lies down and then release your arms down. Bring your feet a little bit further towards you so that you can touch the heel with your index finger. Your feet can be apart, as large, as wide as the pelvis. And then just lift up your pelvis and then shimmy your shoulder blades sort of in towards each other a bit and the, your shoulders away from your ears. Their pelvis is just hanging up a couple of inches from the ground. And then allow the pelvis to gently swing as if it were one of these bells you're hearing in the background. Let it swing from side to side as if moved by the wind. Imagine it one of these. Mm -hmm. If it were part of the scale. Moving here from side to side. Notice what happens when you move it, what happens in the balls of your feet. And then make that movement a bit larger. Of lifting up the pelvis to one side and then allowing it to come down the center and then up the other side. And we're just a couple of inches off the ground. Notice how the knees are involved, your thighs, your feet. back into the center, move the pelvis up towards the sky, bring your hands underneath your buttocks and see if you can interlace the fingers and you might want to shimmy the shoulders in towards you and underneath you. So you're pushing through your feet, your pelvis is up towards the sky, you'll probably feel your thigh bone, your thighs engaged. If you can release the buttocks, the buttocks are not squeezing, but they're, they're present there. Notice how the back of your neck is lengthening, back of the head on the ground. And your breath moving at its own pace, its own gentle way. Allow pelvis to move down. Shimmy your shoulders out again until 
the upper body is lying flat on the ground. And then draw the right knee in towards you, left leg up towards the sky. And then right leg up towards the sky and left knee in towards you. And then release both legs down. Take your blanket, whatever you might want to cover you now as we enter into Shavasana, allowing the body to digest at a somatic level everything that has come into movement. body again making friends with the earth, allowing itself to melt down, to trust, to feel safe. To know that we are in a dance, eternal dance of the planet, of the elements. Allowing yourself to be pervaded by this inner silence. For a moment, allow yourself to sink even deeper before coming back up again. This, to move forward, we need first to take a step back. And then gently start deepening your breath.
reaching your arms up behind you, taking a good stretch, maybe yawning. Oh, emitting a sound. Beautiful. And then roll up into a seated position. Interlacing your fingers and placing them in the center of your heart, your thumbs facing towards the collarbones. Taking a moment here of gratitude for this new day, for this body that we can move. This experience called life. May we have the courage to dance on the edges of time. Thank you very much for coming this morning, for getting up early.